Boy, what a special day this has been, filled with laughter, a lot of tears. This is Gail's final day at News Channel 8, and boy, we've been loving on her since she walked in in that red dress today. And you have been loving yeah. on me. Oh I'll goodness. tell you, it's been amazing. So that many, moment yeah. right there was probably the most moment, emotional time I've had. No, no, no. Through all of this. I mean, look at all the friends and co-workers wanting to share in this. Really is a historic day. I mean, this is your, your last day, and boy, kind of tugs at the old heartstrings to see you leave, Gail, but um, you have a lot to be proud of. You I have, have a lot some. to be thankful for. You do. I have a lot to be thankful for. And I want to let you get to that in just a moment, but uh, but I also want to let the folks at home know uh, that that you, you not only are you proud of the fact that you've had this successful career that I'm proud and your family's proud, but you've had this wonderful family that's going to be joining us joining us on set here in just a moment. Coworkers and people who have loved you for many many years. You are, as, as Steve and others have pointed out, a treasure. Uh, to all of us, and I think that people are really going to learn a few more things about you tonight at 7.30 when we have a special program just dedicated to you, your life, your career. Uh, <laughs> and, and I want to give folks a little preview of what's coming at 7.30 before we hear Gail's final comments. Take a look at this. Name two things I cook. That chicken dish with crumbs. Gail Saren spends a lot of time in her kitchen. I do make good stuffing. She mom. jokingly yeah. says this is where she does her crossword puzzles. That was easy. The real chef in the family is her husband. Mike Martin, owner of Mike's Pies. They've been married 28 years. They have three grown children, a couple of dogs, and a few cats. So here on Gail's last day, I wanted to share a memory when I was in third grade. Gail has lived and worked in Tampa most of her life. She was born Gail Corrine Sirens in 1954. The family moved from Jacksonville to Tampa when she was three. Her mother, Betty, along with the help of her grandmother, raised Gail after a freak elevator accident killed her father when Gail was just six years old. Her mother eventually remarried. Floyd Self took on the role of full-time dad to a teenage girl with big dreams. After graduating from Florida State University, Gail joined WFLA News Channel 8 as a sports reporter and became a star on the rise. I suspect one of the writers you were talking about. She did freelance work as a play-by-play -play announcer for ESPN, a substitute for NBC sports anchor Bob Costas, and the first, and as it turns out, only woman to do play-by-play -play for a regular season NFL game. The pitch to Herman Hurd. Gail's solid performance led to more network opportunities, forcing her to make a decision, pursue her sports passion, or anchor herself to Tampa Bay. You deserve a round of applause. That's got to, you must have broke some kind of record. Excellent, yeah. thank you, I Gail. I feel like I've been eating pot is what I feel like. Gail's decision was rewarded. She and Bob Height would create one of the most successful and longest running TV news co-anchor teams in the nation. But there was another reason to stay. Gail and Mike married in 1987 and started a family. These are our, you know, we would call them our Griswold vacations. So. Pictures of a life well lived line the walls in Gail's South Tampa home. Reminders of an impressive career. That's pretty yeah. awesome. An audience with the Pope. Arnie's caddy for a day. A day on the links with Arnold Palmer. And there's the play-by-play -play note she used during that NFL game. Just a little bit of nuggets about them, usually their size, their weight, and things like that. Some of the memories, bittersweet. Her mother, Betty, who suffered from Alzheimer's, died last year. And her stepfather, Floyd, died six months later. The Lightning Foundation honoring Gail Serens, whose dedication to charitable and humanitarian causes throughout the Bay Area. Through the years, Gail has been recognized for her work as a humanitarian. In fact, she has earned numerous awards and honors. But most of all, she has earned the respect of her viewers. And her retirement marks the end of an era. Good evening, I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Gail Serens. Thank you for joining us. This so is your this moment. Is what I'm supposed to talk, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do my best here. I have been blessed to have three families. I have my amazing family, my husband Mike, my three beautiful children who are here. They're by far the best of my family. I'm sorry to the people I work with. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have my work family. 
um, who are much more than just casual friends. We spend probably as much time with each other as you spend with your spouses, your children. I mean, we spend a lot of time together. And they're amazing, they're smart, they're kind, they're really good at what they do. They're great journalists. And then I have you as my family, my viewer family, who has been so loving and good to me for so long, I can't tell you. The cards you've sent me when my children were born, the things, the booties you made me, <laughs> the gifts you sent me, the cards when my parents died. I can't even begin to explain how you are faceless in many ways, except for those I see in the grocery store who we all talk, and, but you're not faceless to me. I know you're there, and, and I have those cards. I never threw any of them away. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them now, but I'm never gonna get rid of them, that's for sure. So I just wanna say thank you. I am so grateful and so blessed to have had this career in my hometown for 38 years for my children to get to live in the same place. People in my business hop all over the place. They didn't have to hop anywhere. And they got to grow up here. And I'm just so grateful for all of that. So please accept my love and my thanks for everything. And just know that I'll always be on your side. I yeah. promise. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Gail. And on behalf of uh, our News Channel 8 staff and you as viewers at home, thank you so much for what you've done. Good night, everyone. Good Gail Sirens. Good night. God bless. Yeah.